Jacob Graham, on the 22nd of February this year, you were convicted of terrorist offences by a jury after a trial which lasted over five weeks. Those offences were firstly of pre uh, preparation of terrorist acts contrary to Section 5 of the Terrorism Act 2006. That was count two on the indictment. Three offences of possession of a document for terrorist purposes contrary to Section 58 of the Terrorism Act 2000, being counts three to six, and two offences of dissemination of a terrorist publication, contrary to Section 2 of the 2006 Act. You are aged 20, being born on the 22nd of January 2004. During the time you committed these offences, between May 2022 and May 2023, you lived with your mother, your sister and her partner in the Norris Green area of Liverpool. You were a student and appeared to those who knew you to be an ordinary young man with an interest in fireworks, the military and outdoor pursuits. You were aged 18 and 19. In reality, however, you were a dangerous young man. You described yourself as the first homegrown UK terrorist it was only your uncertainty about whether someone else held that claim before you that caused you any doubts because you were proud of that claim. You held a clear and settled intention to assist others to commit acts of terrorism. You searched the internet for information and files that explained how to make explosives, weapons and ammunition for the purposes of terrorism. You collected a very substantial quantity of documents and videos which you provided to many others whom you knew shared your interest in extremist activity and in planning terrorist acts. You even wrote your own document with step-by-step -step details of how to make explosives, ignition devices, weapons, the destination of improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and how to treat law enforcement authorities. You called it Freedom Encyclopedia, and it was addressed to, quote, to all you misfits, social nobodies, anarchists, terrorists, future and present, and anyone who wants to fight for freedom, close quote. Whilst during the trial you denied writing that particular passage on the front page of the document, you still promoted it online, both within encrypted chat groups and in an open source video platform, even when you knew it was written. During your offending, you became a member and controller of chat rooms on the internet, mostly encrypted to hide what you were talking about. Over many months, you discussed in group chat and direct messaging, planning and preparing for terrorist acts. You were the administrator, solely responsible for those who could be in the group and who could not. One of those groups was called Total Earth Liberation Group with 150 members. Discussion included assistance with information on how to make explosives to attack energy infrastructure sites and commercial entities, how to make a rudimentary shotgun about, and about poisons and napalm alternatives. You offered yourself as a very knowledgeable and experienced terrorist Whilst you were not telling the truth about what action you had taken, you were building trust and providing information which they wanted from your digital library of information, which was likely to assist a person preparing acts of terrorism. Particularly disturbing was a document you wrote entitled My Letter, which you wrote over a three-month period in 2022. In it, you said the following. If you're reading this, then it means I've succeeded in my plan. People who have privilege and still complain about their life deserve the privilege taken away from them, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack government buildings, politicians' houses, mass murder those who think it's okay to hide their wrongdoings behind money and power. I do not see this life worth living for much longer, so I may as well go with a bang. I do not have a date or set targets, but I'm aiming for at least 50 deceased and more injured, any more as a blessing. My plan is simple and straightforward. I will start a bombing campaign, a 
The planning and manufacturing of the plan will take time. I am estimating three to five years, but the more time I give, the bigger the target. Close quote. During the many hours of recorded video you made, in which you explained in graphic terms your terrorist intention, you referred to my letter, and although the jury did not convict you of personally engaging in conduct in preparation for acts of terrorism, you described your wish to carry out a terrorist act in which many people would be killed. In evidence, you told the jury that you were only interested in chemistry, pyrotechnics, and the military, and that you just had a strange hobby. That was what you told the police when interviewed, and also the author of the pre-sentence report. The jury rejected that explanation when they convicted you of these offences. Whilst that might have been your starting point when you were younger, it was not what you were doing during the indictment period. Far from it. I am satisfied that you are a dangerous offender. During 2022 and 2023, you had a terrorist intention which caused you to create your Freedom Encyclopedia document and send it to others to assist them in engaging in or preparation for terrorist acts. You collected a very substantial quantity of digital files which, you were, which were likely to be useful to others in those acts and you disseminated to others information in the form of digital files intending to provide assistance in the commission or preparation of terrorist acts. You were not merely reckless in that assistance. I'm sure, as was the jury, that you intended to assist many others. Further, the author of the pre-sentence report was asked to consider your risk of harm to the public, concluded that you present as a high risk of harm. For these reasons, I am satisfied that there is a significant risk to members of the public of, you, of serious harm by you committing serious specified terrorism offences. I am also sure that the seriousness of your offending was aggravated by the period of time over which you committed these offences, the substantial volume of terrorist relevant information which you had acquired, the fact that you conducted your discussions through encrypted messaging with members of your chat room who were obviously people with extreme views. The fact also that you promoted your Freedom Encyclopedia in an open online video platform and, that, and you acted out some of your extremist views when you secretly buried a cache of chemicals in remote woodland sufficient to create a, local, a low explosive is part of these aggravating facts. I take into account in mitigation the seriousness of your offending, that you were aged only 18 and 19 at the time and are now only 20. You have good character and no previous convictions. You have also been the victim of witnessing domestic violence whilst you were growing up, which has caused you some psychological harm, as referred to in the psychological reports of Dr. Harry Wood, dated the 30th of October, and the 19th of November 2023. He concluded that you have some symptoms of complex PTSD, including nightmares, hypervigilance, and avoidance of stimuli associated with traumatic events. I have in mind, however, the guideline relating to mental disability, but I am not persuaded that your PTSD symptoms have any connection with the culpability for your offending. Whilst it is argued on your behalf that you have changed your mindset away from terrorism, I am not persuaded that you have done so substantially. In the trial, you said that you were appalled by what you had written in my letter, in that document. You did not say the same about the other documents you created, possessed or disseminated. Also in the pre-sentence report, it is clear to me that you tried to minimise your responsibility and maintained your innocence. In sentencing you, I shall treat count two as the lead sentence, which means that I will take into account counts three to eight to increase it, but impose concurrent sentences on those counts. Each of these offences is a specified terrorist offence under Schedule 18 of the Sentencing Act 2020, whilst count two is also a serious terrorist offence under Schedule 17A of that Act. I have concluded that a serious terrorism sentence is not appropriate for count two 
because I cannot be sure that the risk of multiple deaths by your offences was very likely. However, I am satisfied that an extended terrorism sentence must be imposed on count two. It is a specified offence. You were over 18 when convicted. You're a dangerous offender. Neither a life sentence nor a serious terrorism sentence is appropriate and your custodial term will exceed the minimum required. Under the guideline for Section 5, Preparation of Terrorist Acts, Count 2 falls within Category C2. In terms of culpability, because you acquired training or skills for the purpose of terrorist activity and your acts were a significant assistance or encouragement of others. In terms of harm, multiple deaths were at risk but not very likely to be caused. The starting point for sentence is therefore 15 years with a range of 10 to 20 years. The aggravating factors, including counts 3 to 8, increase that sentence above the starting point almost to the top of that range at 19 years, but the mitigating factors reduce it to 17 years. I reduce that term further by slightly more than 25% to reflect your young age to a custodial term of 13 years. I'm required to assess the period of extended license, which I determine at five years, because I consider it's necessary for the protection of the public. That means on count two, you will serve an extended sentence of 18 years, of which 13 years is the custodial term in a young offender institution, and the extension period is five years. In relation to counts three to six and count seven and eight, I do not impose a special sentence given the extended sentence I have imposed on count two. On counts three to six, I'm satisfied that those offences fall within category B2 because culpability falls between categories A and C and the material provided for specific terrorist activity endangering life, which was not very likely to be caused or had the potential to cause widespread damage to property. The starting point for sentence is six years and a range of four to seven years. After taking into account the aggravating and mitigating factors, as well as your age, the sentence is four years detention on each of those counts concurrently, and also concurrently with the sentence on count two. On counts seven and eight, I'm satisfied that those offences fall within category A1, because it was your intention to encourage those to whom you disseminated material, which provided instruction for specific terrorist activity endangering life. The starting point for sentence is 10 years and a range of 7 to 14 years. After taking into account the aggravating and mitigating factors, as well as your age, the sentence is 8 years detention, which will also be served concurrently with all other sentences. Stand up, Jacob Graham. The sentence I impose on you is an extended sentence of detention in a young offender's institution for 18 years comprised of 13 years in custody and an extension period of five years. The time you have served on remand is agreed at 290 days, which will be deducted from your custodial term, providing a period in custody of 12 years and 75 days. I impose concurrent sentences of four years detention, each on counts three to six, and eight years detention on counts seven and eight, also to be served concurrently with all other sentences. Your extended sentence means that you must serve two thirds of the custodial term before you apply for parole. It will be for the parole board to make the decision on your release up to the date you complete the custodial term. Upon your release and until the end of the extension period, you will be the subject of a license liable to recall if you breach its terms. You'll also be the subject of the, to a no, the notification requirements under Part 4 of the Counter-Terrorism Act 2008 for a period of 30 years. That means you must notify the authorities of essential information about you for that period, failure in which means you will commit a further offence. I also make the a deprivation order under Section 23A of the Terrorism Act 2000 in respect of those items on the agreed schedule which I am satisfied to the criminal standard have been or are intended to be used for the purposes of terrorism. I make a serious crime prevention order in the terms of the application for five years following your release from custody. 
Finally, you'll pay the victim surcharge in the appropriate amount, which will be recorded on the court order for your sentence. Take him down. <laughs>